Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I finished this beauty right here. Stay tuned. guys so before we get into it just a quick disclaimer i already made a video of how to print the 3d uh, mandalorian helmet so i'll leave the description and the uh, i'll leave the link in the description below just check that out it's going to show you hey if you're using an ender 3 or maybe a smaller printer how to make those cuts to fit that on but again this is how i made my mandalorian helmet stay tuned And you guys can also check the link in the description. I'll be showing you guys how exactly to sand rough prints. So if you get some prints that may come out like this, it's not the end of the world. Just a little bit of sandpaper, elbow grease, and some wood filler, and I'll get that looking good as new. So again, I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Sanding rough PLA prints. A cool thing about this free DO3D file is that it actually comes with all the ears and the back pieces separately. So that, that, made, um, that made it a lot more interesting. And if you guys have been keeping up with me, you know I don't use too much super glue or crazy glue. I don't really have anything against it. Uh, I just found a much easier way to actually get prints to mold together. Sometimes, as you know, with super glue or hot glue, it is still a liquid form. So under high heat, that could possibly uh, actually affect your print. Like if somebody's going to be wearing this helmet outside and there's a lot of sun, that could actually mess up the glue that's in there. So I just PLA weld, just a regular solder and iron, just get it hot and just mix the two parts together. And this also makes your print a lot more durable. So it's going to stick a lot better. It's almost like if you had like a PLA pen or if you had your own hot end and you're just putting the two pieces together. So that's why I like this a little bit better. Um, just make sure to use a mask. You don't want to be inhaling this stuff. And if you do use glue before the solder and iron, be very cautious because you don't want that steam or that smoke getting into your eye. And just do this before you paint. As you see, there are little chips that are coming from me doing this. Good thing I'm doing it on the inside because it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you do this on the inside and you make a hole, you want to do this before you paint and print so that way it doesn't look this bad um, when you have the finished product. Mm -hmm. Now this you don't really have to do on the outside, um, but I'm just going to do it on the outside to make it a little bit easier when I use the paste or the wood filler. I'm just bringing those two seams so that way there's no gaps. Closing that up. I'm 
just so the wood fill is gonna fit in there a lot easier now. And it'll also be a easier to cover that um cover these gaps since there are more on an even line as well. This I don't really mind too much because I'm gonna put the earpiece over. This I don't really care about too much either because like I said, I'm gonna fill it. And then same thing as last time, now that everything's there, now that everything is hidden, I'm just gonna wait for everything to dry. Once it's all dry, I'm just gonna sand it down, make it all even, and then take it outside and put some filler primer Add those ears and then hit it with some color. Now you guys see with the primer, again, I don't really take too much care with that because I'm putting the, uh, the uh, ears there. But what line? <laughs> you see, it's pretty much all taken care of from there. Once you feel like you've sanded and primed enough, it's always good to put a gloss black first before your uh, before your final color. The gloss black is just going to bring out that extra bit of shine that you see on the top of the helmet there. So that's just a little tip for you guys. And that's it. I wish it was a little bit of a longer video. I know this is probably one of my shorter ones. I, I like actually making these videos, getting a chance to teach people, shorten their learning curve, so on and so forth. Um, so as always, guys, if it helped you, if you like this video, definitely hit the like and share button. Um, and then hit the subscribe button. You could probably hear it in the back. My prints are going. Every day I'm working on something new, a new build, um, and teaching you guys how to do it. So definitely uh, hit the like button, the share button, and subscribe. The bubble wrap actually just came off, so I guess I'll throw it on for you guys and let you see. As always, it's 3DB. Take care. God bless.